Maiden. It's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tons. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the Commander-in-Chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. Got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Did you hear? The peak here. Come on, tell me. She's still seeing that. Took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. 
What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually, seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Sorry, Luan, but Jack will dig up info on GRE employees if I do this for him. Ro, I'm on my way. You, my friend, are a suicidal moron. Swarming with renegades, Ro. But I'm handling them. Ro, I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Fast.
Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy. Get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Mm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. Fellas. <laughs> Think you'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. It's all powered on. Bro? You receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree over here. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Yeah. Boys are going deeper into the building. The area will be secured soon. All your ass over here. Time to do some climbing. I know of one that's unoccupied. There's even a stove. <laughs> Rose already waiting for you, Pilgrim. Canteen between Matt and others. Something's up. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and... Oh, fuck me. 
It's Row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for it. Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between corridors A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
And you're Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? Power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power. 
power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Leon's gone. Fuck. All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor.
You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter, and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you crying, man? I ain't crying. Fuck off. Dismiss the fucker, okay? <laughs> you know what Leon would do if he saw you like that? At this point, <laughs> probably bite my eyes out. Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Now well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> So, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. Now we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about him. Yeah, he traded his official PK night for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean the latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. I just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra. So I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass, and I get all the pussy. All your mothers, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ro sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then, the rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys' screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Wow! You rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. 
and pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. What about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, we'll get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect to sell the Finn here? A little snug, ain't it? Aiden! You're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan. Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. <sighs> I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. You guys want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking.
Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Jack. Jack, are you there? There's... <clears throat> there's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Edro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Aiden. Bro has a transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. <laughs> 